apprenticeship schemes could be one way of overcoming the shortfall in engineers in the sector. But the government needs to channel funds into the right strategy for 16 to 24 year olds to make this a suitable solution. By working closely with local, regional and national employers, Humberside Engineering Training Association is helping to advise on the best ways to do this and is working to ensure apprentices have the right skills for the working world. Apprentices on the fast track to a job. All the skills they're learning at the Humberside Engineering Training Association, or HETA, are in short supply. The Institution of Engineering and Technology estimates the UK needs 87,000 new engineers every year. HETA offers advanced apprenticeships. That includes a year's training followed by a two- or three-year placement with a client company. One of the things that our client companies always say to us is that we, you know, that what they like about HETA is that we get them work ready. You know, they're, they're of getting to work on time, the importance of how they conduct themselves, the way they get themselves around the, around the facilities. The Sagoban Glass Factory on Humberside is one place that believes in the power of apprentices. Mick Dickinson is engineering manager. Once an apprentice himself, he takes the new recruits under his wing. It's the best way, I think, into, into a career because it, whilst you, you, you get a great education, we take them right up to some examples of uh, engineering degrees so to do that and be sponsored all the way through it it's an opportunity that you don't get these days especially with the, the university prices. Bradley Redford is coming to the end of his apprenticeship he's aiming to work for Sagobin while it pays for his degree. When I first started going into electrical uh, I didn't even know how to wire a plug but it's given me the, the skills that I need um, not just for in work in life I mean outside of work as well you know uh, you, people skills, social skills, it gives you a good sort of building block, you know, to start you off. Heta also works with around 250 other companies and is expecting that number to rise as the skills shortage deepens. And the companies who don't use apprentices, the message is obviously from government coming down all the way through to industry now, now's the time, you know, you've got people who are going to be retiring in a few years' time. Succession planning is the key phrase I would use and most companies now are getting on board and doing that. A recent survey by the Institution of Engineering and Technology found more than half of employers also want to be more involved with schools, colleges and universities. It's an approach HETA has long championed. HETA are also passionate about inspiring the next generation of school children to get involved in science and engineering. So what they do, they visit schools with this. It's basically a box of toys, but each of them allows children to ask the question, how does it work? So we've got a, a radio-controlled robot here that fires discs out across the room. The Stirling engine here uh, that runs simply on a cup of hot water. A gyroscope, very old technology, but it's still being used widely across uh, the world of engineering, particularly important in keeping your cruise ships level out on the ocean. And then this, the hand boiler, which shows that you can boil a liquid simply using the temperature of your own body. They'll need more than just inspiration to get an apprenticeship, though. Success in GCSE STEM subjects like maths, science and English is also key. Maths is obviously the most important. It runs through every branch of engineering. So I think it's important to illustrate the importance of maths to the young people. So when they're making their option choices, they're not choosing between subjects, but they're really choosing to do really well in maths against those higher tiers of maths so they can get the grades they need to continue with the engineering. For now, the shortage of engineers remains. The government is backing apprentice schemes, but only fully funding places for 16 to 18 year olds. HETA wants that to change. I would like to see a bit of pragmatism here. The, 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 for me, the critical age group is the 16 to 24 year olds. In Yorkshire and Humberside, I think we've got about, still about 26,000 18 to 24 year olds that are unemployed. I'd like to see all that full funding still going to the slightly older apprentices so we can recruit them. And what we do want to do is we want to engage more employers here. We want to get more people into apprenticeships, not just in the Humberside region, but across the UK. HETA remains in high demand for the places it can offer. Around 800 people applied for the nearly 200 apprenticeships it had this year. Open days are already planned to attract fresh applicants for 2015.